Hello everybody, Duke of Hoth back here on Zoo Tycoon 2. And isn't the background fitting for this episode, because today we're going to play the Marine Mania tutorials. So, this water background is pretty fitting. We've done the previous three already, so now we're going to do Marine Mania. As much as we can, I don't know how much, but we're going to, you know, try and blaze through it. Tank construction basics, hybrid tank construction, training animals, creating shows, and then Marine Mania features. So, let's get started. Hopefully it won't take too long, but there are five different tutorials, so I'm kind of nervous, but... Oh, that's a caracal. I probably butchered the pronunciation, but that's alright. Learn how to do that basic stuff. So we're just going to blaze through these, because I know how to do this. Unlike fences, you start in a rectangular tank placement mode by default. Cool, good to know. I don't really care, but, you know. Uh, control. There. I love being, like, even like this. I don't like being on the weird angle. I always... You know, so we're just gonna put, you know, move that out of the way. Put a fence right here. There you go, and then it fills with. Oh, okay. We have to go to the outer circle. Fine, fine game. I didn't want it to be too close to the fountain, but see if I care. It just instantly deletes my tank like that. That's rude, dude. Everything inside the tank is recycled. Even buildings. Oh, that's cool. So, like... What the heck? I didn't know that. So, if you just put a tank over, like, an entire civilization, it'll just give you all the money back from recycling that stuff. That's cool. It doesn't matter, but, you know, it's cool. The little gate there for zookeepers and stuff. Donation boxes, of course. Oh. That's cool. We instantly have a donation box. That's nice. I thought I had to, like, click the thing. This is to raise the tank wall. What? Circular blue cursor in the tank and then click to raise the tank walls. That's weird. I've never had to do that. I, I always used to just like, you could like, left click and drag like you can. That's weird. What's this? Lower tank floor. You can also raise tank floors, decreasing a tank's depth. Yeah. I don't remember using that button, though. I'm pretty sure you can just drag the tank up, but, you know, landscaping. Oh, yeah, and then you can put the biome in. Reef biome. Boom, there you go. Instant reef biome. The other new biomes are benthic, coastal, and pelagic. Now we get to put seawater plants in. There you go. A bunch of blue-green coral. Good job. Did you know that corals are animals, not plants? They are related to jellyfish and sea anemones. Thank you, actually. That, that's helpful. Didn't know that. Ooh, manta rays. Yep. We can't pl select males, so this is a, um, a feminist game. Yeah, I bet, I bet I could place a filter. Why can't I place more than one at a time game? Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. Mantas, I can only place one, of, one at a time. There we go. We have a hundred grand to spend. We can afford more than one manta ray. They ne she needs some friends. All right. And now we can put a water filter, which are needed in tanks. Just to you know, there you go. It'll clean the water. And then we need a maintenance worker, or doing it ourselves. All right. Next, advanced tank construction. That was easy. Ooh, penguins. Look at this loading screen. Kind of sad there's no music, but that's alright. Uh, my beautiful voice will carry over enough to do stuff. Hybrid tank construction. Good to know. There's a polar bear exhibit in the zoo that's a hybrid tank. Good to know. An empty coastal exhibit. I see it right there. I want to see the... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I'm trying to find the polar bear exhibit. There you go. That's a hybrid because there's fences on this side and there's tank on this side. I can't actually go down to look at it, but that's pretty cool. I've made some of these, and this is what I was talking about. Like, you don't need that fancy setting. You can just drag it up and down like that. There you go. I think that's much better exhibit. We're going to paint some coastal water inside the exhibit. All right. We're in coastal, deep water. And we're just placing it from here. Those rocks are getting dropped to the bottom of the ocean, but, you know, it's fine. We're just doing that. Mm -hmm. This is 
beautiful. Like Bob Ross would say, paint some pretty little water, right? Let's add a lowered viewing area. Okay, good to know. I'm not done with my water yet, game. Thank you. And then we can create a valley in front of the tank. Lower the area from the popcorn stand to the donation box. We're modeling it off of the polar bear exhibit. I'm probably going to butcher this because I never was good at these terrain tools. It's probably going to look ugly, but... Yep, like that. Where's the smooth tool? I can't even click the others. Okay, rip me. I, that yellow means that nobody can walk there, by the way. Oh, that's my valley. There you go. Like smoothing out the path. Yeah, like let me smooth out the path. Alright, fine. There's another even easier way to make the hybrid tank. Okay, I didn't read the rest of that, but it's okay. There's a fenced area with a treasure chest. We're going to combine the fenced area and the pelagic tank to create a hybrid tank. In one step. What? Just deleting the... Place your cursor on the top of the back tank wall. The tank wall um, becomes a hand. Press and hold the shift key. Then click and... When the cursor becomes a hand icon, press and hold the shift key. The shift key does nothing. I think you mean just hold left click, but alright. Because that's what this is, left click. Leatherback Sea Turtle 2 is not contained. There you go. I dragged it downward. Press and hold the shift key, then click and drag. Oh. Okay, that's me holding the shift key. Hold on. Shift. Oh, it only lowers the one wall when you hold shift. Okay, I see. That's actually real cool. I didn't know that. I was mocking it for saying do hold the shift key, but I actually needed to hold the shift key. Let's you lower just one tank wall. That's actually real cool. I never knew about that. You can, like, just hold the shift key and it lowers one tank wall. That's awesome, for, to be fair. That's actually something I didn't know, so I'm glad I'm doing these tutorials. There's a thylacine, an extinct, um, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, an extinct animal from Australia, from uh, Tasmania, I believe. That's why it's called the Tasmanian tiger. Training animals. You can train animals. Not all can be trained. Only like eight animals can be trained, but we're teaching the bottlenose dolphin. Find Beaky. Is that Beaky? Yep, that's Beaky. Hi, Beaky. Train animal. Oh yeah, now we got to click the train button. Where are we going to train Beaky? We're going to train him right in front of the... I don't like that that's not even, so we're going to place it even over here, so there you go. And now we get to train Beaky in the jump trick. Train animal panel shows the tricks. These are all the tricks he can learn, and that's like stage two and stage three. You got jump, and then vertical jump, and then dive jump. It's like a progressive thing, and I really like it. You know, right now Beaky doesn't know much about any tricks, so we're gonna train him and jump. Oh boy, I haven't done this in like years, so. Okay, uh, use the training wand to train animals. A gesture or movement with the training wand. Occasionally you need to press a certain key. Uh, other tricks require you to press the arrow keys. Do we have to drag this? Okay, I think I have to... Oh, wait. No, I just have to hold my mouse over it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, Beaky's got this. Yeah, 100%, boy. Ta-da! He did it! Oh, I didn't... I, I didn't need the right-click grade screen, but that's okay. Here you go, Beaky! I love his little noise there. Yeah. A few things to remember about tricks and training. Animals don't actually learn anything until you reward them. So we have to feed them the fish, and then they'll remember it. The higher his score, um, the more it learns. You can go up to five stars, pretty much. When an animal masters a trick, it may unlock the new tricks. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing it. Oh, boy. Okay. Got my keys ready and my mouse button. 
Let's go, boys. We're teaching Beaky everything today. He's going to become a pro. One day. Keep a close eye on the tracer as it moves. Pay attention to the color. Green means you're doing well. Yellow and orange means you're falling behind. Red means you're not doing anything. Okay. Do I have to... Okay, there we go. Oh, crap. I missed one button. Darn it. I'm sorry, Beaky. 89%. I pressed, like, up arrow instead of click. I don't even remember what I did. But I did one of the other buttons. That's okay. 89% is good enough. It's a passing grade. Here you go, Beaky. I love his little fish eating. You may notice that the tracer moves faster, etc. Okay. While it's fun to train your own animals, you can also hire trainers. Okay, there we go. Let's hire a trainer. What's your name? Okay, I can't see your name. Like a zookeeper in some ways, a trainer without any special assignments automatically seeks out any animals that can be trained. They can only train the ones that are, you know, able to learn tricks, and they have to be happy. Trainer Rahim. Wow, that's uh, quite a name. Rahim. Uh, okay, and this is how we assign them. Oh, we have to assign Beaky specifically. There you go. Instead of, like, zookeepers being assigned exhibits, you have to assign them specific animals. That makes sense. And then this, she'll train Beaky on all the tricks that she can. Trainers can only train animals in tanks that have a tank entrance, which is this. Yeah, that makes sense, and there we go. Next tutorial. I think that was the third one. We're doing pretty well. We're like 13 minutes in. This isn't the most interesting thing to watch. That's a Komodo dragon. Pretty cool animal. Now we get to... But this is just for all of you out there. I guess you could learn from watching me, but I, I also want to do this to say I 100 percent of it, even with the boring tutorials. And I could have, you know, gone back and done it off screen, but I figured maybe anybody who's interested to watch would learn something too. So we have a bottlenose dolphin in one tank and an orca in another and a show tank in the middle. Alright. We're gonna put the show platform here in the center. Non show objects in this tank may be sold. Whenever you add a show platform, they're automatically prompted to place tank portals. That'll let them get in from either side. I don't care about those being even. They might be even, I'm not sure, but it's okay. Now they can both go in. Now let's get our... Oh crud, I can't even buy any more. I'll put it in the center then. Show, let's make a show. We can order shows and etc. I keep saying etc. the last couple days since I made these videos. I don't know why. I usually don't say it, but... Show mixer. This is where you make shows, pretty much. We're going to make a show for... Beaky. Note that the list only includes show animals in exhibit tanks with a, with a portal. Makes sense. And now we're going to put the orca. Let's assign tricks to them. Add new trick. A, a trick. Let's see. Do we want him to do hoop jump? Jump or water walk? Let's do water walk. There we go. A trick area or show prop is automatically created. You can pick up the trick area or show prop to move it anywhere you want in the show tank. Okay. Well, whatever. What can the orca do? This is to wait. They like. You can have up to eight acts. Like, wow. Add new trick. And then select a trick. Um, game. Game. I can't scroll down. Game. Well, I selected whatever that is. When the show starts, the dolphin and the orca are set to perform their tricks in about the same time. There you go. A different trick. Oh, 
and they they're trained and everything. Or we can reuse props. This is very in depth. Let's do that one this time. You can name your show. Oh, it makes the things in the tank. We can change the show name, or we can just say we're done. Just a couple more things to do. They need to take a break from shows. If an animal spends too much time, it becomes unhappy. And unhappy animals refuse to perform. Insert a break after the show. So show one and then break, and then they'll do the show again. I'll schedule shows play, then start again. There you go. Show platform, we're disabling the show. Okay, done. Guess rate shows using a star system. The more they like a show, look at that orca, he's cute. The more stars they give, obviously. They donate when they like shows, etc. Uh, I, I swear I'm going to get some alcohol and just take a shot every time I say etc. Note that the popularity of each trick changes over time. Try to schedule shows that feature popular tricks and don't forget to update your shows as other tricks gain in popularity. I don't know how you do that, but there we go. Next tutorial. I mean, this is a nice refresher course for me as well, having not made animal shows in a long time, but it's simple enough and straightforward enough that I think I could get the hang of it pretty easy without the tutorials, but it's alright. I appreciate the help. The eyedropper tool, terrain feature filters, how to swim with dolphins, and other features in Marine Mania. Alright. A lot of cool features, including the eyedropper tool. is the quick and easy way to place a copy of almost any object in the game. Really? I didn't know that was new with Marine Mania. That's pretty cool. I know this tool. It's like how to copy, you know, like I said. You know, just like copies that item for you. It's pretty. I don't know why that's new with Marine Mania, but it's okay. In a campaign or scenario zoo, it does not work on objects for which you haven't acquired enough zoo fame. That makes sense. It also doesn't work on items requiring research. That makes sense, too. So, Manta Ray. Which tank are you in? They're in the left tank. Find the manta ray. Zookeeper recommendations. Click the manta ray. Drag the copy of the manta Oh, wow. That's cool. So you can just click the... I don't know if I knew that or not, but there you go. Now you have another friend. It only works for animals on the adoption panel. If an animal isn't currently listed on the adoption panel... You won't be able to copy it in a scenario or challenge game. Makes sense. I never had to do that because I could just go in here and because I played freeform 90% of the time. Landscape features. Trees, plants, and rocks are painted differently. Notice the layout of the landscaping panel has changed. You no longer paint in terrain features by selecting biome brushes. I don't remember that far back, because, like, I got Marine Mania shortly after I got the base game, so I don't remember this at all. There you go. Inside the large dirt field, surrounded by flower beds. Okay. There you go. All three terrain feature filters are off. When you paint down sand, you don't see any trees plants or rocks. You can turn on all or any combination of filters. I didn't know... I mean, these existed, but I never used them because it didn't matter. Now paint down some more sand. What the heck? Oh, so it like... Okay. You paint in rocks while painting the desert landscape. Note that the terrain feature filters give you more precise control over what's good. I'm confused about that, but that's okay. There's a few new ways to gather data. Apparently it also added these new tabs. I didn't know Marine Mania added all this stuff, to be quite honest with you. But that's okay. Doesn't really matter. I went over these like the first video. So, that's fine. It's neat that Marine Media added these. Um, it's weird that they didn't have them before. Swimming with bottlenose dolphins. They're not in that biome. Those are sea lions. 
bottlenose dolphins and other animals as one of Zoo Tycoon 2's most exciting new features. Bottlenose dolphin 2. We get to swim with dolphins. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's not just like swimming. Yeah, boy. Okay, well, you know, I'd really... Like, we get to ride the dolphin. That's awesome. I think we can do this for any of the show animals, or like... Why are there balls up there? I guess we're gonna do something up there. Oh wow, now it just kicks me off the dolphin too, huh? Alright. You can also swim in tanks and dive underwater in zoo guest mode. Like this. Pretty cool. You can even take photos while swimming. Here's one more fun feature. Improved ball physics. Really? They added improved ball physics in Marine Mania. I never knew they added all this stuff in the expansion. That's actually real cool. <laughs> they make the balls roll and bounce better than ever. They put this in an expansion pack. Well, this did come on disc. It was before the digital age. It couldn't just, like, DLC drop you the, the ball physics, but... There it goes. We Look at it go. Let's kick one. Yeet. Kick it right into the air. Boing. We're going to go and just kick all these. Almost done. This is fun. No one's escaping. Not for long. Oh, they bounce off each other, too. This is awesome. Pursuit ball. I didn't I never thought this would be in a tutorial that they would have better ball physics and that we'd get to kick a bunch of pursuit balls into a pit. You know what? I'm actually real glad I did the tutorials now. What is that? Oh, that's the gate. So we're supposed to check out the the pirate ship. Are we supposed to do it in Zugas mode or oh, we're supposed to click it. Okay. There we go. We did it. That's all the tutorials in Marine Mania. 20 new animals, 20 new challenges, 2 new campaigns, and many new objects. Well, <laughs> the most exciting part of that was clearly the ball physics, you know? Who, do who wouldn't like that? But alright, we just got one more to do, and then we'll start on the actual campaigns. We got extinct animals. That's only 3 different campaigns, so it should go pretty quick. Uh, until next time, I've been Duke of Hoth, and I'll see you soon.